Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Kilroy Dan. And today, of course, I'm going to be talking about something movie related. And since superhero stuff seems to be the popular thing nowadays, I figured I would just talk about certain movies that were supposed to be made, but for whatever reason, they weren't. And in, in celebration of what the new film that came out, I figured, eh, what the hell. I guess I'll just figure it out, just talk about some stuff. I'm trying to dig into the past a little bit of certain films that they wanted to make, but I did end up coming across quite a, a few of Wonder Woman films that they wanted to talk about. I'm not going to bring up every single movie, of course, because trust me, folks, it's quite a few. I mean, to me, it's quite a few. But I'm going to do two separate videos on the subject matter, one of which is going to be this one up with this guy. He actually wanted to have a film starring Wonder Woman herself, of course. And it was going to be in a Justice League movie titled this. Yeah, this was going to be actually be done. And mind you, this was going to be way before Zack Snyder got his hands on this film. And... I know a lot of people already tell me, yes, I do realize that there's already two different versions of the same movie. Zydos, Zack Snyder's cut and the theatrical cut. And yes, I also realized that for Zack Snyder's cut, they wanted to chop it up into episodes and add extra footage and just turn it into a TV show. So, yeah, there's that. So, yeah, folks, a Justice League film was eventually made, yes. But it took a while. It was stuck in delivery limbo for quite some time before it could be made. And in some ways, I guess this is the cause. There's definitely, uh, I guess, evidence to, to show that it was stuck in limbo for quite some time. Yes, it was going to involve different people, folks. I mean, a totally different cast of people, like this woman as Wonder Woman. And uh, it was also going to involve a totally different cast, crew, member. Yeah, everybody... Yeah, definitely, it would shift around during its production. 2007 marked the one year after the Warner Brothers had removed this guy because he had made the film Superman Returns, which got a pretty negative response from people. It was around the same time when the director, Christopher Nolan, was actually making the Dark Knight trilogy, so yeah. That's something to think about. Give me uh, quite some time that they actually wanted to make this movie. And since the film Batman Begins had received a lot of positive press, so Warner Brothers really wanted to start production for the Justice League film because they felt that, okay, since comic book movies are now the hot topic again, so, they could jump on the bad ragging and make their own feature film with these characters. To what extent would Wonder Woman be in this film? Would she take a big role, a minor role, or somewhat of a medium role? I don't know. But judging the popularity of the character, so it wouldn't be much of a stretch that she'll take a pretty decent role in the film. Then again, they've been meaning to make a Wonder Woman film ever since... The Wonder Woman TV show had become really popular, and it took them quite some time to actually do it. I realized she finally got her own film back in 2017, but holy hell, that took a while. And when I say quite a while, folks, just do the math. That took 42 years to actually get made. Yeah, think about that. Anyway, as I was saying, no. Technically speaking, she made her first appearance in Batman v Superman when it was premiered a year prior, but point being, they already had a director and whatnot, which of course would have been him, who previously worked on the film Mad Max Fury Road, so yeah. And they already had a cast already as well, so they already had a pretty good progress in the production already at this point, so yeah, they had all these individuals who will be signed in for this movie. And yes, obviously, as you can see, it's going to be a live-action film. Yes, they actually had a large assembled cast for this project. So they were really 
just about to start this project with a script and everything ready, of course. So yeah, they had a big cast of characters to be shown in this film, and everybody was going to play a part of it in some sort of way, folks. And yeah, that's the thing. So, okay, alright. You might be thinking, that's great. So, yeah, in other words, you'd be thinking that they were about to get things started because they already had a lot of stuff already together, which was true. However, the, the Warner Brothers, they decided to just cancel the project entirely, just right when they were about to start being filmed. This was back in 2008, so, yeah, and that's the thing, ever since then, folks, yeah, there's been pieces, bits and pieces of concept art that has surfaced here and there throughout the internet and whatnot, but, and, that, and that's the thing, so, yeah, who's gonna be the villain, really? I'm not quite sure at all, but I also heard that, yeah, there was, there was a script that was leaked or whatever, and... So apparently there's going to be some elements from uh, some other comic book series that was going to make it into the film. We're taking some insp inspiration from these specific comic book series that they have here, folks. And, yeah, I don't know how much of it really, but in this one, they took an inspiration. And at some point in the film, these two characters were going to fight, I guess, because that happened in one of the comics. So yeah, we were going to have a film where... Superman and Wonder Woman would have duke it out. Sacrifice bit did make it into Batman v Superman, so I guess not every single element from this project was lost, I guess, but it was not done in a specific way that was intended for this film. We all know that the character of Batman would definitely play a major role in the film somehow some way and when you think about it, it did happen in the actual Justice League movie that was actually completed because he had to uh, assemble a team but in this version that they want to do is that Ben himself would have actually gathered some information about the superhero characters to have you know actually powers and find weaknesses just in case if these individual characters would turn evil and he would find a way to stop them. If yeah, this sounds familiar, because it's because that kind of thing was actually used in Batman v Superman. So, you can say that bits and pieces of the elements of this movie was actually used throughout the expanded universe for DC, like bits and pieces of it. But, yeah, even then, it does make me wonder what could have been if they done it in this kind of way. And yeah, this movie was actually announced way back when, folks. But it got stuck in deliberate limbo. Just because a creative project was announced does not mean it was going to be made right away. And just like many other delayed projects when it comes to movies, it was stuck at the creative stage for years. This term, of course, is pretty popular. Okay, and I wouldn't say popular, but it's a well-known phrase in the film industry referring to any film from any time being stuck in pre-production without maybe any casting or production, or even production would even start. But in this case, yeah, they had a production team already. But I guess you're going to say there's some creative differences or something that got in the way. Oh well, as always, thank you for watching, and take care. Till next time, see ya, oh yeah.